The Forensic Science Center, or the FSC as we call it, is a national security community asset with really two missions. One is to conduct research and development uh, into new forensic methods, and the other is as a working forensic laboratory uh, analyzing samples received from around the world. The FSC is a little bit unique in the national security community in that we address the full spectrum of WMD threats, including chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosives. And our scientists and our staff really reflect that scope. We have chemists, biologists, engineers. So one of the really important functions that we have here in the center is we serve as a designated laboratory for the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, or OPCW. Uh, we're one of only two laboratories in the country and of only 22 worldwide that support the OPCW in enforcing the Chemical Weapons Convention. Um, we also work with agencies close at home, so the Department of Homeland Security, various parts of the Department of Defense, the FBI, and many other agencies all really rely on the FSC to provide technical support to their missions. One of the newer missions in the Forensic Science Center, and one that we're really excited about, is how we can apply tools and techniques that we have developed for chemical and biological analysis to issues more commonly associated with traditional forensic science, things like hair and fiber analysis, tool marks, fingerprints, uh, types of evidence that are typically associated with a crime scene or a law enforcement environment. One of the issues in traditional forensic science right now is an over-reliance on subjective methodology. Looking at two pieces of evidence, for example, and determining if they are the same based on an expert opinion. What we're trying to do now is apply data-driven techniques to determine objectively whether two items of evidence are actually associated or not. So part of what makes the FSC special is our access to technologies. We really work hard to maintain cutting-edge technologies that allow us to apply the best techniques possible to the national security mission. But at its core, what really makes the FSC tick is the people. We're a relatively small group, but we're all very focused and dedicated to the national security mission. The FSC has a very rich history. It was founded in 1991, has really worked hard to apply cutting edge technologies to issues of national security. Uh, we have a very exciting future as well, continuing to support national security missions and extending that support to more traditional forensics issues as well.